It's the freaking weekend, everybody. We're talking Friday baseball, Saturday college football, right here on the Ben Burns Report. Welcome to the show, everyone. I'm your host, Allie Burns. Ben regrets he can't be here with us today. He's learning needlepoint in Nicaragua. However, he does send his warmest regards as well as his best two free picks of the weekend. So let's start out with your Friday baseball play. We're looking at the Padres and the Athletics. Padres have been messing around with the Dodgers. Athletics have been messing around with the Astros. So both of these teams have been dealing with some heavy hitters. Now they're playing each other in Oakland, a little California battle way out west. Padres are going to be starting Lugo. He has not looked bad at all this season, but he's coming off of a bad start. He only went 4.1 innings. He's typically a six-inning guy. Ended up losing that game at Houston 5-7. to seven. Newcomb, on the other hand, is going to be starting for the Athletics. Now, typically, he's been relieving and closing. He's only pitched 12 innings. He's coming back. He's getting the start here, but he is off back-to-back -back losses. I'm looking at a run line here is what we're going to do. And typically, we I don't lay a run and a half. You guys know this about me. I don't. But in this case, I'm going to because I think it just adds up. We're going to take the Padres minus a run and a half. If you look at Lugo's past five starts, four to zero, four to zero, five to six went into extras, four to zero, and then the loss that he's coming off of at Houston. This guy will shut you out. And we're talking about a team like the Athletics that doesn't really hit a lot as it is. So I think the combination of these two teams, this pitcher and this team is going to, I liked under a lot. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Under was my play so for, for all day today. Under was my play. However, it gets a little wonky because you don't really know what Newcomb is going to do, right? We've got two to three in Newcomb comes last one, but five to six, nine to two. We can't really bet on what Newcomb or yeah, Newcomb is going to do here. So instead of going with an under, which I still like that play, I'm going to roll with the Padres. You know, they've also been averaging a total of about 13 in their last five games as a team. So that kind of freaked me out about the over, uh, about the under, but Lugo himself is averaging about seven runs when he throws. So long story short, taking the Padres minus a run and a half, I believe it's at a minus 125. So that's your first play for Friday. Before we get to that Saturday college football, everyone don't forget about our promo code. It's Burns99, and that's gonna get you 30 days of Ben's NFL pass or 30 days of Ben's college football pass for only $99. Kind of a big deal. So head over to wagertalk.com and get yourself hooked up values dwindling on this every week that goes by you're missing out on ben's nfl and college football plays so get in on it while the getting is good all right so now we're looking at tennessee at florida this is a saturday game and this is definitely one of the week's bigger games um now, Ben successfully played the Gators when they lost at Utah in week one. However, even at the time, he acknowledged that he respected the Gators as a team. Now, last week against McNeese, they offered the team a chance to regroup after that beating from Utah. And the Gators, they have beaten the Volunteers nine times when they play in the Swamp. Okay, so this is a decent trend. We think Gators are going to be ready to go. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Now, the Vols are really talented. We know this, but this is going to be their first true road game, and it's kind of like their first real test of the season also. Um, and as, as we mentioned before, Florida has been a house of horrors for the Volunteers. They did win by five points last year, but they haven't won two in a row in over 20 years while they're there. So the Gators are still 14-5 and five against the spread in their last 19 meetings, and what may prove to be another close matchup we're going to grab the points with the Florida Gators. We got it at six and a half. Snag those points. You can buy it up to seven if you want the touchdown. We don't think you're going to need it. Um, so that's what we're doing for you today. Florida Gators plus six and a half. That's the show. Check us out tomorrow right here on the Ben Burns Report.